in your own understanding is tipu sultan a freedom fighter or a tyrant robert g no there is no doubt about the fact that he was a tyrant he was not only tyrant i have told it earlier i am telling telling it now also ki he is the pitamaha of terrorism today what you see terrorist today he is a father figure to them the latest you could see what uh, taliban is doing in afghanistan so tipu sultan is an inspiration for them if you name the first uh, terrorist uh, there may be a competition between tipu sultan and uh, aurangzeb who is who, who is uh, uh, better or father of uh, terrorism to that extent he was a tyrant so there is no question of uh, accepting him as anything other than tyrant but this you know uh, you said the unresolved question actually it is not a unresolved question it is a fake narrative i would say no this uh, this country has seen lot of fake narratives for the past you know since independence it's throughout there have been fake narratives and fake narratives and only fake narratives and this is one of it um, no vijram bane vishay no highlighting a tyrant into as a <laughs> freedom fight itself is a fake narrative the purpose behind it is right there are <clears throat> many 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 purposes uh, i can say see the first and foremost question freedom fighter now what is freedom in 1700 or end of 1700 there was no concept of democracy america was just democratic by that time you know hardly few years it was into democracy it was just invented nowhere else in the world there was something like democracy and this freedom the concept of freedom itself was not there the tipu sultan is dead and gone no, no, no. and after that uh, 50 years or 100 years after that you know this concept of freedom struggle came so naming him you know creating him with this, this freedom struggle it, itself is a biggest order of fake narrative some vested interests are interested in uh, making the hero and he was he was a typical jihadi his his father was also cruel but i would say his father was uh, not typical jihadi to that extent he was less educated so it was better for him no the more more one gets educated the more radicalized he becomes nowadays you can say throughout the world the biggest uh, terrorists are the highly educated ones those phd's doctors engineers and all the less educated less radicalized so that was the case with tipu sultan he was more educated father wanted him to be educated he got educated in such a way that he became completely radicalized so he was uh, 10 times or 100 times more hopeless than his father more right. cruel more uh, tyrant and uh, you know it's a typical uh, madrasa education what he got and typical madrasa education will teach you right from that day till this day teach us only one thing those who don't believe in allah are the enemies enemies of allah they are to be killed they are to be eliminated they are to be destroyed and that's, that's what he did it and whoever are uh, highlighting him today are the vested interest maybe in a congress is interested in highlighting him to some extent maybe as a vote bank Uh, or maybe they want to divide the indian society so that they get their <coughs> political uh, mileage out of it so some vested interests are highlighting him you cannot call him a freedom struggle the very very uh, term itself is wrong please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar